She has been called the president of us all, a show of pride from African women, exhilarated by their continent's first elected female head of state. Women of Liberia. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, the president of Liberia, an impoverished nation on West Africa's coast, fractured by 14 years of civil wars, now trying to pick up the pieces. With unemployment at some 85%, with only one textbook for every 27 children, and with most of the basic infrastructure in tatters, Liberia needs everything from electricity to hope. Halfway into her first term, President Johnson Sirleaf is leading the recovery. She recently sat down with us in Monrovia, Liberia's capital, where we began with her new memoir, This Child Will Be Great. In it, she writes of her commitment to Liberian women who helped put her in office. They said to her during her 2005 presidential campaign, men have failed us. You know, we have 161 years of independence in Liberia. We've been ruled by men all along at the top level. The fact that we had wars, again, it comes from a leadership, either by omission or commission, that enabled those wars to go on. So what the women were saying is, now it's time for change. When you were a little girl, did you think you could be president? No, I didn't. I thought I would have followed my mother's footsteps and become a school teacher. So things change. Ellen, as most of her nation calls her, grew up in a traditional Liberian household, but later became a working mom with political leanings, an economist with a degree from Harvard. She was Liberia's first female finance minister. But when brutal dictatorships took over, her social activism and public criticism landed her in jail and forced her repeatedly into exile. When calm was finally restored, she returned and won the presidency at age 67. I must say to you that what I bring to this task, many years of experience and many years of earning my stripes. You know, I keep telling people I didn't come into this job just all of a sudden. I've gone through the tough times. I've been in prison. I've been tortured. I've taken it all like any man. As president, Johnson Sirleaf has taken on corruption, gotten more than a billion dollars of Liberia's debt canceled, Mom! and rebuilt the army with the help of the U.S., which has spent more than $2 billion in Liberian aid since the war ended. But she faces far simpler challenges every morning. I get up every day and say, you know, which additional road will be fixed today? Or which community will finally get some water today? I get excited by that, and, and that's my motivation. These are very basic needs. Absolutely, I mean very basic needs. Things that people in other countries take for granted. When we turned the street lights on in 2006, some young children had never seen electricity. She says she wants those children to smile again as she attempts to lift Liberia to a new self-sufficiency. Achieving that goal may hinge partly on her gender. She has, she says, accomplished more in life by being a woman than if she'd been born a man. Maybe it comes from being a mother. There's some value, I think, to that. There's some extra dimension that's built into us. But today, that drive, that strive for equality is so strong the world over that there's no doubt. 10 years, maybe 10 Ellens in Africa. I'm Lynn Scherr for World Focus in Monrovia, Liberia.